What's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. I am so sorry for not uploading these past two weeks. I know you guys have been wondering where you've been, when is the next video coming up, and I'm back. I'm telling y'all. I know the title says I'm done with YouTube, and yes, I'm done with YouTube. Literally, like not literally done, done, but like I'm done. You know when you say like, yo, I'm done with this. Like you're fed up with it. I'm fed up with it. Like let me tell you guys what happened. This is not a sneaker video. This is a video where I'm telling you guys what's going on with the channel, what's gonna happen, where I've been, why I haven't I been uploading, and stuff like that. I know you guys hate it when I do this. But it's been two weeks since you guys seen a new video, so I feel like I should explain what exactly happened. So to start off, like a little bit over two weeks ago, I got a strike on my account because I supposedly, like, I didn't follow community guidelines. So I got one strike on my account, and usually one strike is a warning. So I was like, all right, cool. I mean, I guess it's a warning, but the problem is I didn't know what I did wrong. So I got that one strike, and I was like, all right, it's a warning. I don't know what it's for, but whatever. I'll take the strike. Hopefully I don't do it again, whatever it is I did. And then three days later, I get a second strike on my account. I think it was April 17th, a second strike for a community guideline. And they said it was for spamming or deceptive practices. I think it's the word, I don't even know how to say that word. But whatever the hell that is, I know what spamming is of course, but deceptive practices, I did not know what exactly that meant. And at this point I couldn't upload for two weeks and I didn't know what to do. I was like, damn, I can't upload for two weeks. I was ready to upload a good ass video for you guys too. Then that happens and I'm like, oh my God. So I hit up YouTube and I'm like, yo, what's good with this? Like, why do I have these two strikes on my account? What exactly are they for? Tell me so it doesn't happen again. So I know what I did wrong. And they're like, in like a day or two, they replied and they're like, we're gonna get you onto a specialist within 24 hours because we don't know exactly what you did and our specialists know that's basically what they told me so i patiently waited 24 hours 24 hours and 48 hours and 72 hours and four days five days and then i just waited so long i never got a reply back youtube does this all the time they push you aside they try to just give you a general answer so you can basically wait on them and then they'll hit you back up and this is not the first time i emailed them this is the i don't know i email them all the time about questions that i have i know one big issue i have is also with emails i am getting a bunch of emails from my vlog channel i recently posted a video of x and that video blew up and for every comment and people that comment on each other's comments i get an, an email for that and that's annoying like i couldn't even check my emails at this point because it was so full and then the thing with this channel where i don't know what i did wrong they still have not got back to me so right now i'm just gonna be very careful with what i post because these strikes go away sometime in july and i'm really not trying to have these strikes on my account i really just want to be i feel i'm kind of scared of postings right now because one more strike and this account is done so i'm not trying to get to that point i'm trying to be very careful so with that being said i do have a feeling that i know why they put the strikes on my account because i noticed the two videos that they put it on were pairs of fake yeezys but I didn't exactly announce in the title that they were fake. So that being said, I will not be promoting fakes anymore. I'm sorry to all you that want to buy fakes and they don't like you guys can't afford the real ones. I'm so sorry. But I also did do some research and I learned that when you buy fakes from certain companies, I'm not saying all of them, but from certain companies, that money could go to funding terrorists. Because if you think about it, these terrorist groups, how exactly are they supposed to get their money other than doing like the legal things like I don't know whatever they do but also this is also a big way this is actually a really big way that they can get money because these shoes cost no I, they can't cost more than 20 bucks to make and they're selling them the, the fakes at least go for like 80 bucks 100 bucks so they're making at least 60 bucks profit on each shoe that you guys are buying and sometimes they even sell the, the fakes at retail price so they're definitely making good money and some of that money can go to the factory some of that money can go to the terrorist groups to whoever but i learned that this money goes to the wrong people so i don't want to promote these brands anymore i will not be doing any more fake reviews however i will be doing comparisons for you guys i'm doing this for educational purposes so you guys know what to look for in fakes because i do i actually do have like two pairs of creams that are fake and then i have a real pair of creams which i will be doing a comparison with three kinds of with two kinds of fakes and then a real pair and i'm doing that for you guys so you guys can know what to stay away from and what to look for when you actually go to buy any sneakers any any Yeezys, mostly sneakers and i do have some other tips i learned here and there over these past two weeks so yeah that's pretty much that that was the biggest announcement i want to tell you guys i've been waiting i've been trying to tell you guys through twitter but it's so there's so much i can write in only 140 characters but yeah now i'm back guys i'm telling you i'm coming back strong as hell i'm not quitting youtube i'm not going anywhere i told you guys this a long time ago i'm not quitting youtube anytime soon i actually was just at sneaker con bay area and i had a blast there thank you to all of you that came up to me it really did mean a lot that right there just motivates me to keep pushing for you guys seeing where the bigger youtubers are i do want to be where they're at i actually even want to be higher than where they're at and that's always a good thing it's not bad that i want to be higher than where they are like you always got to be progressing in life and exceed your goals and i'm sure they have bigger goals for themselves too that being said i'm still doing the easy giveaway don't think i forgot about that and i will be doing giveaways raffles a bunch of stuff and last but not least this is a big one it's a little different than what i've done before 
I have made shirts in the past, but since summer's coming around, it is sunny out here, and I've always wanted to do this, I will be making hats just like this. They're gonna be dad hats. They're gonna have, not this back, but they're gonna have like that metal back. And they are like that, the little thing that hangs right here, it is gonna actually tuck into the back of the hat. I don't have the hat in hand yet because I'm working to get it done. So they will drop sometime before summer so you guys can have it for the summer. Also, I will be opening up a PO box and also I will be doing the middleman thing where you guys can trade and send them to me and then I'll send them out to you guys. And I also will be doing a buying and selling thing on Instagram, like I said before. But the thing with the P.O. Box and the middleman and the selling and the trading and buying, whatever, that will start at 50,000 subscribers because that's when I feel like I'll have enough people and traffic to start all this. By the way, I am thinking about going to SneakerCon Chicago, which is June 3rd and 4th, and also SneakerCon LA, which is sometime in June or July, I'm not exactly too sure. And I also want to go to Dallas, but Chicago and LA are my two main priorities right now. I am most likely going to go to Chicago because first of all, the Hoops Classic is there. It's going to be massive. It's a two day sneaker con and I feel like those are always big. And just seeing how sneaker con Bay Area was, that was just insane. I couldn't even walk through there. You guys will see on the vlog that it was super packed. It was super crazy. It was hectic. And it was just, it was the best sneaker con I've been to, even though I've only been to two. So I do want to keep increasing those amount of sneaker cons that I go to, which is why I want to go to Chicago and LA and Dallas. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions in regards to what I'm going to do, what's happening with this channel, or any questions you have, just leave them down in the comments below. I will reply to you. And as always, I do got to give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is not actually, it's not, I don't know his YouTube name, but I do know his real name. His name is Oscar Alcala. Big shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for helping me out in the Bay. He did hook it up while I was there. Thank you so much. It really did me a lot, bro. So if you're watching this, bro, big thanks to you. Anyways, if you did enjoy the video, even though it was just like a talking video, just give it a thumbs up anyways. Give it a thumbs up for me actually not quitting YouTube and just staying here. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you subscribe as well so we can get to that easy giveaway. What the f God was to me. Theory, what? Like I said, make sure to keep subscribing. I'm surprised the subscribers count is still going up while I wasn't uploading. But that just shows a lot. It shows how much you guys are liking the content. So thank you guys. Thank you for everyone for watching. Thank you for helping me get to 19K. I'm about to hit 20K. Hopefully by the end of this week, that would be sick. And I feel like you guys should do that. So thank you guys so much. Make sure you stay woke. Well.